Now let's move on. Yeah. Shenfa. Yes? I wonder what Bailu village looks like. A quiet, small village surrounded by the mountains. And castle walls there. They were built long ago. Castle walls? Yes. They were built by the nobles from the city. An old lady in the village told me. Who were the nobles? They served the emperor. They had treasures and rare items. So naturally they were many thieves. Ah, that's why they built the walls. There is a poem in the village. Left by the nobles. How does the poem go? Green trees of Gui create a forest to the south of the lake. The river is a blue sash of silk. The hills are hairpins of jade. What does it mean? The deep forests of Gui are south of the lake. The waters of the Lijiang are like blue silk. The mountains are like hairpins made from jewels. The landscape of Guilin. Yes, I like this poem. Even with my eyes closed, I can see the landscape of Guilin. Really? Yo, the village is this way. Yeah. Shenfa. Yes? Do you think it'll rain again? It won't rain for a while. The clouds are far, and the wind is dry. It rained pretty hard last night. The river was almost overflowing. Yes, there's a lot of rain in Guilin. That's how such a deep forest was created. I see. Not only rain, but there are deep fogs, too. There's fog, too? The rain does not only flow into the river. The rain seeps into the forest trees. and the Into the forest? Yes. And in the mornings and evenings, the fog covers the mountains. The fog is so thick that you couldn't see your hands stretched out in front of you. You can't see your hands? That thick? The mountains of Guilin are most beautiful when the morning fog embraces them. Is that so? I'd like to see that. If you stay in the village for a while, you'll be able to see it. For a while. Shenfa. Yes? You said your father was sick? He sometimes has a heavy cough. You must be worried. During the night, or when it's humid, he would cough a lot. I would rub his back, and he would feel a little better. Are the herbal medicines working? Yes, he takes them every day after meals. That's why he can work every day. But sometimes... I see. Is there a hospital in the village? No. A doctor visits the village sometimes. Really? That must be inconvenient. I hope your father gets better. Yes. It isn't all that serious, so he'll be fine. I bring him herbs. I see. that sound? It sounds like a waterfall. I hear it from the path on the left. Is there a waterfall? No. I don't think there was one nearby. Then what is that sound? I don't know. Do you want to go find out? Yeah. Why not? Yes.
There's water back in the river. Huh? Look. This river has been dry for months. Really? We heard this waterfall. But why did the water start running all of a sudden? Last night's rain. The rain made the waterfall, and it's now flowing into the river. That rain made this waterfall? Yes. Whenever it rains hard, small waterfalls are made here and there. Really? The river runs into the Lijiang. The village is up the river. Let's go. Yes. Shenfa. Yes. You said there were no doctors in the village? Yes. It must be very inconvenient when someone gets ill. Yes. I hope my father's illness doesn't get worse. What about medicines? Everyone boils herbs and drinks them. Herbal medicine. There's a pharmacy in the village. There's a pharmacy? They make medicine. You can buy the ingredients there, or you can pick them and take them to the pharmacy to have the medicine made. Oh. So it's a bit different from the pharmacies in town. They examine each person's condition and make the best medicine accordingly. Most people live long in the village. Really? Yes, but... What's wrong? I'm worried about my father. He's been working constantly. He needs to rest more. Does your father have a heavy workload? I don't know. He doesn't talk much about his work. I think he's been pushing himself too hard lately. Oh, so you must be worried. Yes. Shenfa. Yes? Did the wind blow? Yes. The dandelion seeds were floating away all at once, but I didn't feel any strong winds. That was me. It wasn't the wind. Huh? I just did what I usually do. You said you did it too when you were a child. Yeah. But I hold them in my hand and blow. Oh, that way sounds fun too. What do you mean? I'll try it sometime. You blow them using your mouth? Uh, yeah. Then how did she do that? What did you say, Joel? Never mind. It's okay. I see. the forest then. Yeah. It won't take long now. Let's move on. Joe, we're almost there. I see. Shenfa, is Bailu village near now? We have to go a little further to reach the place where the villagers live. Really? But my house is right there. It's on that small hill. Please come in for a while. But I need to go to Bailu Village. You saved my life. I want to thank you. Um... Please rest for a bit. Please? Oh, all right. Good. Follow me. We'll see my house soon. Shenfa. Follow me. My house is right ahead. Just a bit further. I see. What's this tree? Shenmu. Huh? A tree called Shenmu. Shenmu? Every year, at this time of the season, its flowers bloom. Really? This tree... holds a special meaning for me.
The Shinmu tree has its flowers in bloom again this year. Shenfa, a beautiful flower. I know. We will name our child Shenfa. Shenfa, that is wonderful. The Shenmu tree shall protect her. The flower of the Shenmu tree is called Shenfa. That's. Yes, that's my name. There was a tree at home that bloomed during the springtime. At your house? They were called cherry blossoms. Their petals were pale pink. Cherry blossoms. Does that tree hold a special meaning for you too? Yes. Let's go. It's this way. What's the matter, Shenfa? When I was a child, I used to play on that swing. Every year when the Shenmu's flowers bloomed. Is this house located in Bailu village? Yes. We are at the edge of the village. Really? That tree. The Shenmu tree. Yeah, it's a really big tree. Yes, it's a very old tree too. The tree was already that tall when my grandfather was a child. I see. The tree has been alive for thousands of years. Thousands of years. Shenmu. What's the matter, Nyo? Maybe it's only my imagination. Yes. But I think I feel something. You feel something? The tree isn't just old and big. I don't know how to say this. It seems like it has a spirit. Really? Do you feel that way too? Well, yeah. I felt the same way ever since I was small. You too? When I was a child, I used to play under the tree, and I felt like I was being held by the Shenmu tree. 
Although I was alone, I didn't feel lonely at all. I think I understand. Yes. It feels like, even as we sit here, that tree is watching and protecting us. It seems like I've known that tree from a long time ago. It's a strange feeling. Shenfa, you said you were living with your father. Yes. I only have a father. I don't have a mother. What about you? When I was really small, my mother was already... And your father? My father is gone now. I'm sorry. I... It's all right. What's your father like? He's a stubborn but warm-hearted man. Stubborn but warm-hearted. Bio, while you're still sleeping in bed, farmers are working hard in the fields, carefully picking carrots one by one. So how can you waste them like that? What's wrong? Nothing. There's something I'd like to tell you. Hmm? I was told my real father had died. Died? Yes, together with my mother. Really? But I don't remember anything about my real parents. I don't even know how they died. Your present father? He took my parents' place and raised me as if I were his real child. Of course, I accept him as my real father. He's my only family now. I see. But when I was small, I used to give him a difficult time. Hmm? I threw tantrums. I told him that I wanted a mother. Brothers and sisters, too. Brothers and sisters? Do you have any brothers or sisters? I don't have any brothers or sisters. But there was this person called Fukusan. We used to practice with each other. Practice? We were learning martial arts from my father. He was strict to both of us. We were always sweaty from practice. We used to fight a lot too. Just like real brothers. Really? He helped me in many ways so that I could go to Hong Kong. You're lucky. Hmm. I envy you for having a person like that close to you. Although we weren't real brothers, he's a part of my family and he's important to me. Yes. It will be dark soon. You should stay for the night. Is that all right? Yes. I want to help you in return for saving me. I'm going to get dinner ready. Please wait. Why don't you rest while I make dinner? Yes, thank you. The meal should be ready soon. I should go to the kitchen.
Yo, have a seat. Thanks. This was the best I could do. Looks really good. Help yourself to seconds. What's this meat? Rabbit. Huh? I set a trap in the mountain. Oh, really? Tasty, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. Make yourself at home. You can use any space in this house. Thank you. Father has a small collection of things. Take a look, if you like. Yeah, I will. is embroidered my father has had that tapestry for a long time where is this place luo young luo young an old city that flourished during the tang dynasty the sunset colors the whole city beautifully have you ever been there no but for some reason it gives me a nostalgic feeling nostalgic feeling I see it when I close my eyes, the landscape of the city, and the people bustling by. Luo Yang. This painting. Really? I heard these mountains are scary. Scary? Those who set foot in these mountains have never returned. It's an old tale. Why? I don't know. But no one goes near these mountains today. Shenfa. What is it, y'all? I'll finish cleaning up soon. Rest up for a while. I'll do that. If you're tired, you can lie down in the bedroom. The bedroom? Are you sure? Go right ahead and rest. Okay. many things in here. This must belong to Shinfa's father. Hmm. Th this is... What's wrong? It's the same. What is this drawing? 
My father told me this has been in our family since long, long ago. But he wouldn't tell me anything else about it. Yo, what is this mirror? I heard that it was given to my father. To your father? This Phantom Riverstone can only be found in Bailu Village. Phantom Riverstone? How did this mirror get to Japan? I don't know. My father might know something. Where is your father now? He's at the stone pit, gathering Phantom Riverstone. Where's the stone pit? Over on the other side of the mountain. He said he was going to finish something. It's been days since he left for the stone pit. Can you take me there? I'm going to bring him food tomorrow morning. Come with me. All right. Shenfa. Yo, good morning. Good morning. I'm preparing lunch right now. Can you wait a while? Thank you for waiting. Let's go see my father. Yeah. It's this way. Follow me. All right. Shenfa. Yes? What's the stone pit like? It's inside a cave. A cave? When you go inside the cave, there's a hall. I always bring lunch there. There's a larger hall further inside the cave. Further inside? Yes, but my father doesn't let me go there. I don't really know what that place is like. But I heard it's a stone pit for Phantom Riverstone. Phantom Riverstone? Yes, the same stone as your mirror. Yo, can I ask you something? What is it? It's about that Phoenix mirror. Yeah. On the diagram in my father's room, there was a design of a dragon as well. Yeah, my father had another mirror with a dragon on it. What happened to the mirror of the dragon? It was stolen by the man who killed my father, Landy. Killed? Oh, that's right. Your father was killed because of the mirror. Huh? Because of the mirror? A village legend says the ancient emperor had mirrors made from Phantom Riverstone. But the rulers fought for the mirror, trying to get its hidden power, and sunk even lost their lives because of it. I didn't know there was such a legend. I'm getting scared. Shenfa. I hope nothing evil happens. Whatever the case, we should go ask your father. Let's hurry to the stone pit. Yes. Here is the pass. Do you always come here? Yes. Uh? What is it? It's different. 
What is? There isn't a single bird. Huh? The migratory birds come here to rest. Usually the birds are here and they chat with each other. But why aren't they here today? Did something happen? I don't know. But... Shenfa? I sense something isn't right. Yo, let's hurry on our way. Right. Let's go. Take this. It's dark inside. Huh. The stone pit is further inside. Follow me. Yeah. Bring him food here. Father! Father! I wonder where he is. He always comes here when I call him. I'll go check the back. Here. Where can he be? Well, there's a door beyond here. Further? This way. This is it. The door's open. It's always been locked. What's beyond this door? I don't know. Father never let me inside. Maybe he's in here. Let's go. This place.
I didn't know there was a place like this in the cave. Yo. Mm -hmm. Look, there's a path. Let's go take a look. Shenfa. Father's writing. Huh. Dear Shenfa, my work is done. The phoenix entrusted to our people is now complete. The time of destiny, destiny has come. Shenfa. Go with the one who holds the phoenix and find the proof. Yield yourself to the one and go together. I shall give you the family treasure, the sword of seven stars. Think of the sword as a part of me and keep it with you. I shall always watch over you. The sword of seven stars. The one who holds the phoenix, find the proof? What is the proof? I don't know, but there should be some clue here. Shenfa, let's look for it. This is... The same design as the one on the sword. No. That's it. Let's go. Yes.
what? You. Yeah. Same as the mirrors. My father was carving. From a distant land in the east, from across the sea, he shall appear. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. The strength that would destroy him the strength that would fulfill his wishes. When he is ready, he shall seek me out, and we shall brave together the rocky path. I shall wait. This encounter has been my destiny since ancient times. A dragon shall emerge from the earth, and dark clouds shall obscure the heavens. A phoenix shall descend from above, its wings will create a purple wind. In the midst of the pitch black night, a morning star shall glisten alone. What is that poem? It has been told in the village from long ago. One who holds the phoenix.